You better start today. Hold up and jam. October. This Lori feel, Jarrett is. I'm really feeling your, feel your new theme song. That's right. That's right. Jenna is uh, a little under the weather. Uh, all of her kids got sick. Uh, she was describing, I think, some of it last week. She finally got it. It always catches up. You cannot always. escape the germs. They're in the house, so she's taking a little break. That's what kids do. So you worked Saturday. You had a little day off Sunday, and now you're back again. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. You had quite the weekend, my friend. Man, I loved it. I swear. We had so much fun. Jen and I went to Texas, you know, yes, for our Texas your takeover. Texas takeover. My favorite part of that whole thing was all of it, the Longhorn Band. I loved watching Jenna at home. With her prom date? Uh, wait, look at, yeah, with her prom date. Look at, that's her high school. I know. Her high school, Austin High, was crazy. Um, it was all the things. We had celebs. We had everything. We had food. We never stopped eating or drinking. And it was everything. And our sponsor, Travel Texas, really took care of us there. So a huge, huge thank you there. You could tell how much fun you guys had. And then you saw Camilla McConaughey there. Yes. So we had this Making Space weekend, which was a beautiful, I can't even describe it, Laura. It was one of those things that you dream about a, a great retreat. This thing hit all the boxes. Mm -hmm. It was everything. There were great speakers. There was meditation. There were all the things that I love. Camilla came and she was like, well, I thought I'd come by and see what was going on. She didn't want to leave. She literally was watch. She did breath work. She did all the things. But what I loved the most about this thing was all these women who came, mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, they came for different reasons. One girl said it was her, she was going to have a bachelorette party, but she decided she'd rather come, come to this. Another woman said, Hoda, I'm a teacher, and we got, and I don't make any money, but we got a bonus, so I'm spending it here. And I felt like tremendous responsibility mm -hmm. for it to be a great experience for everybody. And I have to say, myself having nothing to do with it yep. it was a great it was a great 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 weekend for everybody nobody wanted to leave literally at the end laura was like you guys we're <laughs> wrapping up this beautiful weekend they were yelling literally no! no no we're staying i was like oh my god rachel platten never she left she didn't want to leave no she was there on friday she was going to play three songs she played a set of eight we were weeping there's a song called girls i don't know if we can pull it up <laughs> It will make you, you have a daughter, you yes. will listen to it. Everybody was, it was like cleansing yes. tears all over. And then she was crushing it, crushing it. And it was like the sun was setting, singing, there was all the stuff. And then like Allie Berger's one of our producers mm -hmm. and Rachel didn't have a bathing suit, so Allie gave her hers. Anyway, the whole <laughs> thing was, and I was like, Rachel was in everybody's classes. It was beautiful and loving and meaningful. And it really meant everything to me. I love this because you have been talking about this literally since I arrived yeah. at NBC. I have turned <laughs> you talking about yeah. your vision for this and to yeah. see you to finally execute on your vision. And I got to tell you, this Miraval folks and our, our guys who put it together, I want to weep. Oh. It was so beautiful. My sister came. Like, it was like yeah. one, Maria Schreiber. All your it was, people. All of our people were there. It was beautiful. But we're going to have a little piece on it coming up in just a little bit. I can't wait to see that. All right. It's going to so, be good. Everybody loves a cute couple. Of course. Zendaya and Tom Holland are a hot, hot couple. But, okay. Ooh, matching colors, the color of the season. Okay. <laughs> so they went out on a normal date. Okay. Paparazzi was there. Yep. But something made headlines. So, and this is what it was. So she's getting swarmed. He grabs her. Hold on. You can see it again. He's kind of out of, he's pushing people away. He grabs his girl. Come girl, come here. I'm going to help you. Come, come with me. Nope, I got you. You're mine. Come on, let's go. Um, this is, fans were tweeting, every girl needs a Tom Holland. Yes. Do you like yes. the kind of guy who's like, I got it. When time appropriate. Okay, so, right? so give me some you, details. I don't think you want to be with somebody who's ultra domineering. Nobody wants to be told what yeah, to do. Yeah. However, what he did is he saw her in a moment. Yes. 
where she just not didn't need rescuing, right. but did want someone to say, come on, I got you, right? I got you. And I feel like when you can lock eyes with your partner, mm -hmm. right? Like if my husband will look at me and know when like it's time to leave a dinner go. party, <laughs> when he can see like my eyes glazing over and the, the tiredness <laughs> sets in. Like, and now, I look like, now. okay, How let's go now. How about when he misses the look? Don't you hate when they miss the look? Yes, You're like, I'm, I'm over I'm here trying. You come on, right? Do, don't you feel like in your partner you need someone who kind of, you, you can do. just have that unspoken like. I have like, to say, I do think there was something about what he did. They People were tweeting like chivalry's yeah. not dead. Ever since I was a kid, and this kind of shaped how I view men, my dad was always uber polite. Mm -hmm. Like to a point where my mother never, I didn't know she could touch a door handle. Mm. I never saw her do it. He did it every time. Not because she couldn't, yeah. but because he was saying, after you. And whenever we would go out to the car, he would go around to her side. Now it's just like, boop, boop, you got it? I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm in. But to have somebody who's just looking out for you, it's like when you sit down in a restaurant and your date or your partner orders first. Yeah. I'm gonna have X, or I'm gonna have this drink, and then he looks at you for your turn. I think there's something about mm -hmm. somebody. Sees you. Who sees you and just is polite. Like, yes. I, even with friends, I'll say, you go ahead. No, go ahead. You, yes. can, you, know, you want, you just want someone who sees you. And especially, I feel like nowadays, right, it stands out more mm -hmm. because everything's so casual. And so, so when someone does sort of do that, you're like, perk up a little bit, right? But I think that's one of my absolutes. Like, without that, yeah. Then it's like, like that's not happening. <laughs> if someone is like, I'll meet, you know, he's walking in front of you, any of those things. Okay, word to the wise, you heard it here. If you want a date with Hoda, you better come around that car. Open the door! <laughs> And not with around. the boop, boop. No, that does not get you. got to physically. You physical, no, yes. and you have to pull it yep. and say, and then yeah. close it gently. <laughs> gently close it. Don't, <laughs> don't bang it because you're like, ouch, God. You know, gently. It's all those things. These seem like simple things, but I think they do but stand out I, nowadays. You know the thing you said about being seen? I was just thinking back to the weekend. That was kind of the mm. whole thing. It was like women in that group and in all groups sometimes feel invisible, mm. not seen. And I, we heard it over and over again. And Maria was talking and she said, even she said me, she goes, I grew up in a large family and mm. a kind of a famous family. And often I was seen in the, as a group or when she was with Arnold, she said often people would elbow her to get to mm. him. Just look past Cause it. you're not yeah. there. And I think there was something about this particular weekend because so many women feel like they're not seen mm. at the, at the, at the table at when they're at work, they're oh, not seen, everything. they're over overlook their kids aren't seeing them and so this was one of those weird weekends where I felt like everybody was seeing and that's and why they're all weeping it. and didn't want to yes. leave and we actually did a breathwork class where we were looking you had to look someone in the eye and do the breathing situation and there was something strange about holding the gaze of someone you mm -hmm. didn't know and going through this exercise and you could see like it's like someone's looking in, like I'm looking in your eyes. I'm not thinking about yep. what everybody's doing, I'm here. So there's something about saying like, I see you sitting here with me and there's there's something it's that's, something, yeah, something about it. The sparks start to fly. Yeah, <laughs> well, okay, well that's another way to look at it. That can happen too. I thought we had something. <laughs> it was a moment. All right, so Timothy Chalamet, I didn't even know this was a thing, but they have a thing. What I, is the thing? I, and apparently there is an entire contest, a lookalike okay. contest, in his honor, and people showed up and showed out, okay? So, they came to New York. Yeah. It was only $50 being offered, Wait, but it didn't matter. So they all came. You got 50 bucks if you looked the most yes, like Timothy Chalamet? Yes, if you came up. Okay, that's came, the, <laughs> look at the sea of Timothy Chalamet. That is so weird. Who even started okay, that? Okay, but then it got better, because you know who came? Tim the Chalamet, he showed up. <laughs> Wait, he made a surprise appearance. You tell me which one he is, because you don't know. You it, don't, is he one of those like three? Him. He's in there. He's in we, there. We you don't can know. See him. He could be one of those. Okay, well, the winner was 21 year old the... Miles Mitchell. He did it. Oh, he, he dressed. He, he got dressed the $50. like Timothy and Wonka. Do we have his pick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's real good. It's a pretty dead ringer. He got 50 bucks. Okay, I know people who, it's people say you look like one person in particular. I don't see it, but you get it Well, I always amount. get Gail King. We're like, <laughs> people often ask me, how's your bestie, Oprah? But, I'm like, but I don't see it. We kind of have it. No. We do have, it depends. There's a lot of people see it. Okay, how about, let's talk about you. Okay. Who do you get? Uh, let's go. In the past, yeah. Paula Payton. Uh-huh. Meghan Markle. 
Oh, uh, you yeah. do look like Paula. Do you that, think? Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, it's all happening. It's all happening. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Alicia, Alicia Keys. Keys. You yes. Know, you have all <laughs> of that. I mean, that. I will take all of them. By I the way, look at that. You kind of have the smile. <laughs> all See? right. It's all happening. We got a great show for you kids. Guess who's here? Brooklyn Pelts Beckham is here. He'll spice things up. It's going to be good. But up next from the new Apple TV thriller before, actress oh. Rosie Rosie Perez has had so many memorable roles over the decades, from her breakthrough performance in Do the Right Thing to her Emmy-nominated turn in The Flight Attendant. Now in her new psychological thriller, Before, Rosie is giving us perhaps her most personal work yet, playing a foster parent. Take a look at this. So what made you decide to foster? Why do you ask me that? I mean, is that relevant to what's going on with Noah? Uh I'm just looking for some context. I, uh, I just wanted to give someone all the things that I never had, so. Ooh. That is a extremely powerful line and even more powerful if you know Rosie Perez. Mm -hmm. That is, that's your story right there, wasn't it? Yeah. Delivering that line. Tell us about what was behind that. Well, as you know, mm -hmm. from the last time I was on your podcast, I shared that I was a ward of the state of New York State uh, for a long while, and then I was in the foster care system for a short while until my aunt, God rest her soul, and my father, God rest his soul, got me out of the system. Mm -hmm. And uh, the original role, uh, I turned down, and, and I said, but whoever you get to play Denise, please have them do their homework and please approach it from a place of love and unsureness mm. because there were some horrible people in my childhood and there were some great, wonderful mm. people in my childhood. Um, and, and I said, so they should do their due diligence. And then Billy called me back two days later and said, we want you to play Denise. Mm. Mm. And I was terrified. Yeah. <laughs> did he have to talk you into it, or did Yeah, you? he did. We talked, like, for an hour with uh, Sarah Thorpe, the executive producer, and she, she did not have a clue. She was, like, dumbfounded. She's like, what? Yeah. And, um, and then Billy said, what do you mean you want to bring an unsureness? Uh, I said, an angst, because all those wonderful people, they were wonderful because they were honest. They didn't have all the answers, yeah. you know? But what they did have was love. How did you emotionally prepare for that, to take you back to that moment? Were you just crying in your dressing room every day just to cleanse yourself? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and my poor husband, oh my God, I put him <laughs> through it. Um, and my sister Carmen, oh my goodness. Um, but um, I ate a lot. Mm -hmm. I gained 20 pounds, for, not for that role, but during I'm doing yeah, the because role. Because of the role, yes. yeah. Uh, it took me a long time to lose it. Um, and uh, you know what I did? I just kept trying to find the truth mm. and the honesty. And even in that clip that you sh showed, um, it took me a long time to get to that actual take because I couldn't stop crying. And Billy was like, What's wrong? Because I would, I would yell cut in the middle of it. Mm. And he goes, what's going on? And I said, I'm just full, filled with emotion and I don't want to bring all that, mm. you know, because mm -hmm. I have an arc. And he said, let it go. Mm. I said, what? He goes, let it go. I trust mm -hmm. you. Trust it. Sat down, boom, delivered it. They went cut. That's the take. <laughs> I often think of you when you were a little girl and what you went through living in the convent, wondering, is anyone coming for me? Right. Going through the abuse that you went through. And I know there were great people who helped you too, but to be so little and so vulnerable and then to come out in life and to become Rosie Perez, I mean, it's really an incredible accomplishment. Do you want, do you, is there somebody or something that you would tribute that sort of inner strength to? My aunt. Yeah. who I thought was my mom. Yeah. Um, she always 
told me I was special, and I believed it. Oh, look at her. <laughs> uh, she always told me I was special, you know, and some of the kids would actually criticize me. They're like, you think you're special. And I go, I am. Uh -huh. So that spirit was there. It was nurtured. It was, it was encouraged. And I never lost that, thank goodness. You know, I was talking to Mike Tyson the other day, and I mm. said, did you always know? That you were going to be a champ, and you went yes, and you always knew it too. Mm. He knew that you knew. Yeah, mm. yeah. Girl. Speaking of a champ, yeah, you had a birthday. We got to wish you a happy 60th birthday. By the way, don't you love 60? I love it. Me too. You I'm can into do whatever it. You, want. you can. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you tell people to go to you know. <laughs> yes, it's fabulous. How does 60 feel on you? It feels great. Yeah. It feels great. I swear to goodness. I might go do Botox, but that's about <laughs> it. You know, um, but I, I swear to goodness, it just feels so good. Even on my birthday, everybody was partying, and I went to bed. Wait, what? Yeah, my daughter-in-law, Tara, she's like, everyone's looking for you. And I said, darling, I'm 60. I could do whatever. <laughs> you're under the covers. You're I'm watching like, movies. You're like, I, I don't TCM, care. Enjoy. You know, I was having the time of my life. And, and I just <laughs> love it. You know, you just get out of your way. Yes. You know? That's it. You're free. That's it. Now you do what you want on your terms, finally. Wow. That's right. That's right. You are an extraordinary human being, Rosie. When I interviewed you on my podcast, I was so moved. I've, t I've repeated your life story to so many people because I feel like it will change people. So thank you for coming to see us. We really appreciate it. And we want people to go see yes. this. The first two episodes of Before are available now on Apple TV+. Plus. New episodes, by the way, drop every Friday. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. Up yeah. next, connection, reflection, and inspiration. We're going to take you inside Hoda's first ever wellness retreat. Not going to be the last uh -huh. after this. Okay, Hoda, we know you had a big weekend. You stayed in Texas for your first ever Making Space Wellness Weekend. It was my favorite weekend. Cool. It was so beautiful. We were at Miraval Austin Resort and Spa. So we hosted 150 women, incredible women. One guy came. <laughs> anyway, but for a weekend of connection and transformation. And while the purpose was really to empower people who, was there, who were there, I think everyone left feeling lighter, more fulfilled, including myself. Take a look. This is your weekend. There are 365 days in the year. You get these two. I feel like we're all walking around heavy, and I can see it. I can see it in the women who are here right now. It's like they're carrying around the weight of the world. They've carried it for so long that they just think that's how they walk. We deserve a life outside of our children, outside of our spouses, outside of our work. This weekend is about bringing every teacher, every bit of practice that I've done in the last decade. And it's bringing all of that goodness to all these awesome women. And here's what I found. When women feel permission to grow and to connect, they just show up. Some came together, but most came on an individual journey. And I'm hoping to find self-reflection or, you know, finding some wisdom within, like, the teachers. Being a mom, it's really hard to find space. And so I think that really understanding that doing that for you is so important. Wait, you want, you, this is your bachelorette this trip. This is my bachelorette trip. We're going to take care of you. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> We kicked off the weekend with Harvard professor Arthur C. Brooks, who spoke on happiness at its core. Happiness is love. You need to love more. And if you don't know what to do, love when you're trying to figure it out. And on opening night. I hope you know that you can turn to each other. Hope the road ahead is clear. And I hope an emotional performance from Rachel Platten that we felt so deeply in our souls. Performing here was really magical. I felt really open going into it, but like, it felt like everyone else's hearts were already open too, just from the space that Hoda creates. She said, I'm so proud of you. The next day we heard from Dr. Wendy Suzuki, who had us in tears talking about the brain's response to emotion. And mind coach, Manjeet Devgan, our girl brought the house down with a session on gratitude and journaling. It's all about giving you guys tools and taking this beautiful intellectual stuff that we're learning and embodying it. NYU professor and best-selling author Susie Welch gave an incredibly powerful masterclass on purpose. And then 
there is Maria Shriver who walked in the room and had us examining the meaning in our lives. I try to kind of think forward. Who do I want to be and where do I want to be? We closed out the weekend with beauty founder and podcaster Jamie Kern Lima, who reminded us that we are worthy. We saw a change in women like Marilyn, who traveled from New Jersey to be here. She came to our wellness weekend seeking meaning. I retired about a year and a half ago, and I don't know what I wanted to do. Uh, my children are grown, and so I've been, I guess, quietly searching for something that would bring new meaning to my life. The journey is hard, because I've, I've always been told that I'm a tough cookie. So, letting go, accepting that not, not working for money or shaping someone else is okay. And taking care of myself, but it's something I've never been taught. This weekend is slowly giving me the permission to think about myself and not others first. That is the beauty that we see when our guests have chosen to honor them and to prioritize themselves. And that truly is what the spirit of the experiences that this weekend are all about. This is the first step. This is saying, hey, we've opened the door, here it is, and now you're gonna find your own path. We all have different ones, but we are going to be on them, finding our way together. If this is the first step, <laughs> it was, uh, watch out, world. It was, by the way, it was so beautiful and oh. poignant and lovely, and all of these women left transformed. I Me love too. that she said, I, I'm a tough cookie. I've been yeah. told I'm a tough cookie. Yes, because you've right? been told that. Everybody's been yeah. told that. Everybody yeah. here has yeah. been told that. <laughs> um, you've got some other news, Donna? Who's Hoda, here? that was so lovely. Yeah. So we have some great news. Um, if you want to plan your own stay at Miraval Austin after watching that, they are offering today viewers 15% off. Use the code today when booking. Terms and conditions apply. And this special off offer is paid for by Miraval Resorts and Spas. And we should also mention all of the beautiful furniture at the event that you saw during our broadcast shows and at the Friends of Today reception. They were all provided by our sponsor, Court. By the way, the chairs were super comfy. Gorgeous. <laughs> but everything was beautiful. Um, and I know that all the women who are watching, I said I'd say, hey, Aww. hey, I love you. I miss you guys. And we're going to do it again. All right, coming up next, we're going to heat things up. We've got Brooklyn Pelts Beckham with us coming up right after this. Brooklyn Peltz Beckham is a culinary content creator. He's got more than 16 million Instagram followers. And he also happens to be the eldest child of superstar couple David and Victoria Beckham. And now Brooklyn is sharing his passion for food with a hot new culinary creation. Hi, Brooklyn. We're going to get to the creation, first <laughs> nice, of all. Yeah. But we got to talk about the last name because I love how this came together. Mm -hmm. A combo of your last name and now your wife's last name honoring both families. Yes. Um, it's beautiful. Thank you so much, yeah. Uh, I kind of wanted to honor both names, and uh, when I decided, when we both decided that this is what we wanted to do, I was like, oh, it'd be so cute to have like little Pelt Speckhams running around like <laughs> at some point, so that's kind of how it How'd your parents about. feel about that? They were happy, yeah. yeah. They were happy, yeah. I think it's super cute and very modern, I have to yes. say, because I think a lot of people get mm -hmm. stuck in old ways. But the last time you were here, I remember like, you know when you know someone so deeply and madly in yeah. love? <laughs> that was you. And I look at you today and I see the exact same look in your eyes. So how has love progressed since you were here last? Oh my God, it's been the best. You know when like people are like, oh like, it's the honeymoon stage, like the first couple months, it is like continue to be the honeymoon stage. Wow. And like, my dad's always like, when I was growing up, he was like, find that person, because that's the, one of the most important things that someone could do in a life, is find that person you're gonna spend how the rest you, of your life like, with. How do you know that she's your person? I feel like, you know, I've known her for six years, and you know, we were friends before, and I just, I, can't, I feel like when you know, you just you know. You just know, do you right. know what I mean? So, do your parents give you any marriage advice? They obviously have such a lovely yeah. romance and everyone yeah. can see it. Did they give you any like pointers on how to keep things mm -hmm. 
hot and steamy for the for the next <laughs> 20 years? Um, yeah, it was it was kind of my my mum and dad were just like like my mum and dad love her. You know, yeah. everyone gets along, which I'm so happy about. And um, my dad was just like just take care of her. And just you know, work hard, mm. and you know, just and always do romantic yeah. things. I love it. Do yeah. you guys watch any of the documentaries about your parents? Uh, <laughs> we, we just watched the Beckham you one. Did? And? We just watched the Beckham one. Yeah, it was amazing you to it. see, like, because like there's clips when I was a baby, and I remember so. Cool. Okay, really you guys big. are also friends with Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. There was a thruple situation at one point. We yeah. Heard, yeah. And the thruple has now expanded. And we, we're in love with Benny Blanco, by the way. We've had him on our show a couple of times. <laughs> He's, He's the a sweetest. cool guy. So are you now two couples kind of going out together sometimes? Yes, yes. It's okay. me. It's sometimes me and him cook, and then um, <sighs> Selena and Nicola are just. Wait. <laughs> this is everybody's oh, yeah. dream double date. I love it. Okay, so we got to talk about your project, your next project. Yeah. So this is, we know you like the culinary world. Yes. You're, you've started a hot sauce company. Yes. Okay, tell us why first. Uh, so it started because of my love for hot sauce and I kind of wanted to make condiments sexy again. I wanted something that looks gorgeous on a table, something that's fully organic, gluten-free, mm. kosher. Um, and non-GMO and yeah I just I created it actually with my wife and at our house ah. and if you've ever made hot sauce in like a small space how do you make it What's we were coughing there? all night <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> opening the windows what are you doing oh to air my things god out? it was like the the alarm was going off and I was getting the tea towel and like trying to <laughs> get rid of it it was a fun process and I love telling that because it was it was you know it was me and her who yeah. like you know started this That's we really create cute. the first recipe all right so we thought in honor of your hot sauce yeah. we're gonna play a game we're gonna call it <laughs> amazing hot saucy question Questions. All right, so in front of you, I know it wow. looks like a lot, you don't have to drink much, is a glass full of your hot sauce. What's your hot sauce called again? Cloud 23. Wow. Cloud 23. Cloud okay. 23. So if you, you can answer the question we asked okay. you. If you choose not to, you can take a sip of your spicy hot sauce. Well, that's the good one. All right, is here's your first question. Okay. What is your least favorite Spice Girl song? <laughs> no, that's it. Oh. Oh, wow. is that hot? It's really good. Yeah, it's hard to just do that without any yeah, that's food a sweet, That's the sweet one. Oh, it's the sweeter one? So it's not that hot. All right, here's the next one. You have over 100 <laughs> tattoos. Which tattoo do you regret the most? That's your What answer. one do I regret the most? I don't think I regret any of them, but the most painful was my foot. Ooh. And the longest was my vows What's to my wife. What's on the foot? Uh, the foot is like a little butterfly. Oh, but wait, yeah. you have you have your vows to your wife on your. Arm. I do, like all on, in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a whole. Th that one that took a like long a time. That's a painful one too. All right, yeah, that took a long here's time. the last question. Okay. What has been your most embarrassing moment in front of your wife? <laughs> um, the most embarrassing moment, probably when I asked her to marry me, and because I I I. I like, uh, we were in this like little gazebo and I tried to open up the wine and I was so nervous oh. and I couldn't open it. <laughs> probably, that was probably. You're just shaking. Did yeah. you break the bottle so you can keep it together? I, yeah, I did, I, did break, I did break the cork, which was embarrassing. Breaking the cork is, yeah, just one of the, <laughs> yeah. you were so sweet. Thank you for coming. Best Thank of you luck so with this latest me. project. Come back anytime and see Thank us. you so much. Congratulations, right. Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Up next, we want to get a jump start on your holiday shopping. We got some of our favorite things all in one big disc counted box just for you coming up after this. Brooklyn. All right, it is time to see what's inside Hoda and Jenna's curated box. Yeah, so Jenna and I came up with some of our favorite products that are all inside this special Hoda and Jenna box. And the best part is, it is 80% off of the original retail price. Wait, say that again, 80%? 80, 80, this zero. thing used, would be like normally 400 plus, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. this is gonna be great. Fashion and lifestyle expert Melissa Garcia is here to tell you all about it. So take out your phones and <laughs> scan that QR code right now. You yes. do not wanna miss this. Talk to yes. us, Melissa. So, tell okay, us about this. My hands are already this getting warm yeah. and yummy. Yeah. Yes. So this is only, just so you guys all, $99 yes. for the entire box plus free shipping. Like you were saying, almost $500 worth of products. Here. For 99 so, and bucks. there's limited quantities. These go fast, so grab them. Okay. So you're holding, we love these. This is from Renfro. This the, is the eye massage. I think this is my pick. I this is it. your pick. This, this is, is so good. good. So I've heard of like feet massagers, back massagers, but this is an eye massager. <laughs> it uses air pressure and oh, it gives God. you the best massage on your eyes and it gets your temples too, oh, which yeah. is oh. so good. Like you and said, it has music. It has music. I'm breaking this Don't worry. It has music if you want. It has like nice relaxing spa oh, my music. God. It connects Bluetooth to your phone. So you were saying, 
you can listen to a podcast if you like. I, I mean, so love it. Hoda's so in her good. wellness space right now. By the and way, yeah, it feels like it drains your eye. If you yeah. have puffy eyes, it it's so great good. for that. It's draining. So, so good. And this alone is worth almost the entire price yeah. of the box. Okay, so, I'm awesome. going to tell you something I'm crazy about. Mm -hmm. This Ew. Real Beauty spray, this yep. is like a body mister. Spray it in the air. So, and, okay. so good. So, yes, so this smell. is so good. And so, this smell. is from Rare Beauty. I love this Rare is, Beauty. Yep, so good. So, it's a hair and body mist. I personally love using it on my hair. Yes. When you're on like day two or three hair mm -hmm. before you wash it and you want a little pick me up, it is the cleanest, like freshest, pretty scent. I yeah, I use it. I have it. to say, Selena Gomez's whole brand yeah. is a plus, but this will just refresh you and make you feel like you're ready to go. It is so Brilliant. good, a must have. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. So I think oh, this wow. is yours too. We These both love this brand. This is my side, I guess. <laughs> wow. So we love Color Wow. So mm -hmm. this is their money mist. So essentially, what you do is you use this like a leave-in conditioner. Yeah. So after you get out of the shower, spray it in your hair, brush it through. I don't know how they do it or what's in it, but when you dry your hair, it's like you have that salon, fresh yes. cut, bouncy, glossy look. I don't, it's so good. The brand says that it's UV protectant, heat protectant, it strengthens, it moisturizes. All in one. It's almost like a magic trick. It's, it's like, like magic. really and weird. And you're using this yeah. after I every wash. Yeah, I yes. use this after I wash. So okay. good. Great for fall and winter. Okay, this is both Jenna and oh, I. Ooh, I've got the boot. She's got How the cloth. How comfortable are so, these? Yeah. Yes. So this is from Deer Foam. These are incredible. So you're getting a voucher with free shipping for a free pair of either the boots or the clogs. Okay. They're both incredible. Tons of sizing. Lots of colors. They're so soft. The brand says it's a genuine it's chili. Unbelievable. Yeah. So like so all good. The, all the different colors. I mean, too. think about for the holidays. Such I mean, which is crazy enough. Yeah. Right yeah. around the corner. Jenna lives, yeah. lives in these. You slip them on. You go outside. You grab a coffee. They're easy. Exactly. And, and I, I yeah. like the boots that are just. Yeah, a and bit they more have finished. the the nice thick yeah. bottom, so yeah. you can run out and like get yeah. the kids off the bus. Yes. Walk. Not just Dog. house slippers. Right. Yes. Wear, wear them on the weekends or yeah. around. So okay. good. Okay. This was Jenna's. The world be. Yes. She's into this. So this is yeah. She's into this. So this alone is more than the whole box. This retails for $149.95, just so you awesome. know. So this is really good. So this brand is known for doing really great things for teeth. They say that within just one week, it removes more than 100% of plaque than just a manual toothbrush. Okay. So this works so well. And it also has really cool features. So it'll light up red if you're pushing too hard on Ooh. your teeth. It will tell you when you have to change the head. It'll oh, tell you how long you're brushing that. your teeth. That's good. And you both have kids. This is really great for kids. Oh. Okay, we've and got it comes in pink sand. Yeah, a few yep. seconds for the lash. Okay, okay. always want the lash. This is yeah, lash serum. A picture speaks a thousand words. So I will show you Jenna and her assistant Julia use this, using this for four to six weeks. And you can see oh, there's a dramatic difference. Women can love this, really the number it. one lash serum Whoa, in the United holy. States. Look at that. Is that insane? It's like she's almost going to have to clip them. Just use it once a day. Scissors. For They're too long. Six weeks. Works That's so, so crazy. Good. And what and about then, the So last books? but not least, books. So this is, we love this. So books, you're getting a voucher for $25 for the book outlet, which is really great. It's already up to 50% off of books. And there's a special landing page of all of Jenna's favorites. By the way, this is all great. So shop our limited edition, the Hoda and Jenna box. Scan the QR code now or head to today.com slash boxes. And you'll get every Everything you see here, 99 bucks, you get free shipping and a reminder that today does earn a commission on the products. I want all of these. Yes. Up next, calling all trivia lovers, we're going to play a Hoda and class, a classic game here, higher or lower, after this. It's a good one. Good job. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Okay, we love a little friendly competition around here, Laura. So. Are you ready? My pen is out. Okay. I've been ready. All right, it's time to play this game we like to call higher or lower. All right, and direct from Hoda and Jenna Game <laughs> Headquarters. Come on. Sean in Come the on, house. Sean. It's a one-way flight. So okay. here's how it works. I will ask you each a question one at a time with a numerical answer. You'll write your question, your answer down, your best guess. Then I will ask the other if you think the correct answer is higher or lower than the answer on the other's board. Okay. So here we go. Okay. First up. Hoda, you'll start first on higher or lower. <laughs> Wicked, starring Ariana Grande yes. and Cynthia Revo, is being released in a few weeks. Uh -huh. How many number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 charts does Ariana Grande have throughout her entire career? Three. You think number Ariana one. Grande has had three number, number one, one hits? Number one, yeah. Uh, Laura, higher. do you think? Okay, you think the correct answer is higher? The correct answer is Ariana Grande has had nine Whoa. number one hits. 
Oh. Laura gets good the job, point. Laura. Off yeah, to a good a, start. Good start. Okay, let's, let's see go. if we can get this one. Laura, let's do it. according to a new survey by Forbes, what percentage of Americans say bad grammar and spelling on a dating profile would be considered an ick? What percentage? Of Americans would say that bad grammar and spelling on a dating profile is bad. They wouldn't go for it. You say 80% of lower. Americans. Lower. Lower. Hoda says lower. Well, lower. the correct answer is it is an ick to 60% of Americans. Dang. Hoda gets the point. You're welcome. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Hoda, you're up next. I'm ready. Law and Order SVU yes. Yes. just kicked off its 26th season yes. recently. According to IMDb, how many episodes of the show oh, has girl. actor and rapper Ice T made an appearance oh, in? Oh, jeez. I, I don't even know how many's in 26 how many seasons. seasons. How many episodes in a season? I don't know. I'm going to go with. Well, you're the TV go professional. High. Let's see how many you think. 250. Laura, do you I think the correct answer is higher or lower? lower. Well, according to IMDb, Ice-T has appeared in 530 oh episodes. Oh my goodness! Which, by the way, makes him the longest-running male actor in TV history. What? In, that one, true? in one role, yes. Wow! Yes, okay. it is. Oh, Ice-T. It is wild. Go Ice-T. Laura. Yes. How many Instagram followers does Dwayne The Rock Johnson have? How many Instagram followers do you think? 25 million followers. Hoda, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Higher. You say higher. The correct answer is Dwayne The Rock Johnson has 395 <laughs> million followers. The Rock, I'm so sorry. Listen, I and he's not even number one. <laughs> All right, yeah. last question to Hoda. Yeah. Hoda. How many bones are in the average adult human oh, body? Oh, God. Are you kidding me? How many bones are in the average I thought this adult was human body? <laughs> We're throwing you off. 193. Ooh. Some ooze from the I crowd. Say Laura. lower. You think humans have less? Fewer. <laughs> Don't leave lower the shot. Than 193 bones. Well, the correct answer is the average adult human body is 206 ah! bones. She's won, which she often doesn't do in a game on iHost. You're welcome. It's the weekend. It gave you the strength. You know what? I'm all, space. I'm all She's clear. She's made space for a space. win. She's all right, guys. Clear. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to Laura Jarrett for hanging out with me. You guys, she's on Saturday. Catch it. Tomorrow we've every got Saturday. every Saturday. Every Saturday, you'll find her right there with what's his name? Peter. Oh, Peter. Peter. All right. We've got uh, actress and former SNL star Molly Shannon. Oh, that's going to be good. Plus, actor and singer Darren Chris. How Bobby played, too, you guys.